Chapter Five: The Temple on the Crystal Mountain. The people of Ejin Village decided to accept the Iron People, but it was under two conditions. First, two of the villagers visit their place at any time in order to monitor them. Second, if the Iron People want to do something related to the village or the villagers, they should ask permission from the village meeting beforehand. The guiding and monitoring were assigned to Jinye, Hanya's son, and Buye's father, and Chu Zhang, the interpreter. A house near the sea was given to them to be used as a headquarter. Several big tents were set up in front of the house to make a place for the Iron soldiers to stay. The Iron people expressed their gratitude by offering a lot of precious goods that they had carried on their ship. Fifty rolls of dazzling silk woven with gold thread, tableware, and drinking glasses decorated with gold and silver, countless colorful jewels and glass beads—all of them were real treasures that the people of Ejin Village, who prided themselves on living the best life in the southwestern coastal area, had never dreamed of. The treasures were evenly distributed to the villagers through the village meeting. Some people treasured the goods from the Iron People, and some made a profit by exchanging the goods with the outside people who came by boat from far and near places to buy food and earthenware from Ejin Village. As a token of gratitude, the villagers scrambled to offer delicious food to the Iron People. Ejin Village, always peaceful even as a busy port, quickly turned into a place. With an exciting, festive atmosphere, the smell of delicious food draws the swarm of flies. As rare treasures overflowed in the village, cases of theft increased. Not only people coming from far by boat, but also people from nearby villages and islands secretly sneaked in at night and stole valuables from villagers. After a couple of months, there were even cases where people living in less fortunate places a little further came in groups and brandished clubs to steal treasures and food. Of course, they couldn't hurt the villagers as they planned. Whenever there was a commotion, the Iron People staying on the beach would appear and beat them severely with swords and spears made of sharp iron. After a few such incidents, there were no more outsiders intruding Ejin Village. Among the villagers, more and more people looked up to and praised the Iron People. Until the heat of the summer subsided, the Iron People stayed quiet like that, building closer and closer relationships with the villagers. Among the villagers who had pretty daughters coming of age. There were even people who wanted to have an in-law relations with the Iron People leaders and attempted to have such talks with Jinye. It was on one night when the rain continued throughout the day. Most of the grown-up men in the village had finished working in the field earlier than usual and gathered in Hanya's big room. Chu Zhang joined later. His face looked a little grave. The Iron People want to build a temple in the middle of Crystal Mountain, present-day Mount Dalma in Henan. Temple in Crystal Mountain? What does that mean? They seem to have brought something on their ship. They say it is a guardian deity who protected them throughout their voyage. Now that they have settled in this village. They want to have a temple where they can enshrine that guardian deity and offer thanks. They can build a hut in the village and enshrine it. Why dare build a shrine in Crystal Mountain? It is a sacred place where all the mountain spirits of the Korean Peninsula gather and pass time together. So it wouldn't be nice to touch it carelessly. People in Hanya's room began hot debate again. They were split into two groups. One urged that Crystal Mountain should not be touched in any case, and the other said that it would be okay to build a small temple there, considering what the Iron People had done for the village. Hanya's eyes grew deeper as he watched from one corner of the room. 
Are they starting to move now? His intuition was telling him to be careful. At the same time, it also informed that it was an unavoidable movement.